Hello. Um, what I'm working on today is I made one of these um, small journals with the, uh, you can see the stitching up the side here. And I'm going to make one uh, that I'm going to put inside an old book cover. And what I want to do is put beads along when I stitch it together, put beads through those. And it's, it's going to be an experiment. And then a tassel coming off the end with beads. And what I thought was, what better way to make the beads than use up my gel prints and make some paper beads. So I used to make paper beads a long time ago. So I thought I'd do some today. And I figured I might as well show you what I'm doing. Basically, I cut the paper into strips. Um, you can make different shape beads using different strips, but today I'm just going to do one of these wild purple ones and um, maybe this one. Now, the end of it does this, this part's going to get all covered up except for a little bit of it. So I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to start from here, cut in just a little so none of that white is going to end up showing up still be the start of my bead it won't change much now the thickness of your beads this is this one here is done with uh, this sheet and I think this is about 11 inches I think it's the length of the paper and uh, you can see how thick that is when I put it on when I thread it onto the um, the the spine of the book I'm going to put a little round bead in there and one on this end and then run, run the thread through that so we'll see how that works I will show you the whole thing when I get the whole journal done basically I've just basically started it so um, that's what I do on these conical shaped ones we'll do that one next this one this one here is just a plain it's going to be just like this one just a plain barrel bead which is most of them are going to be barrel beads because they're going to run along the side now there is a tool you can get that's specifically for rolling beads, but this is a skewer. This is a, a barbecue skewer, and they work perfectly fine, and they make the perfect size hole for the stuff that I do. Now what you do, this is regular. Um, this is actually the nice copy paper is what it is. And I'm just giving it a little bit of a curl to get it started. Now you lay it flat against your, your um, stick. Let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, you lay it flat against your stick, and you start rolling it. Now you want to stay nice and steady, and keep those edges matched up, and hold it tight. You don't want to let, let it loosen up. Now you can adjust as you go along. It's, like I said, I'm going to have bead caps on the end, so it's really not necessary for these to be perfect but if you want to make perfect beads you can keep it lined up now keep it as tight as you can don't mind the crinkling it's just a bag falling over see now I'm using my fingernail to push it down so it's tight where it's supposed to be and I usually get about to here hold it tight tight with one hand now I'm going to, I'm using that UHU glues that I oh I'm going to put it on the plastic though I'm just doing a strip right there just a ways down now I'm going to keep keep it steady yeah I get to that glue that's where I'm going to make sure I've got it matched up right You don't want to glue it wrong, and I'm going to hold it for a minute. Yep, the glue's caught it, and I'm going to hold it for a minute, and I'm holding it tight, tight. And that glue is really good. It'll catch it. Now I'm going to go a little further. Now see how it's coming a little bit out of whack there? I'm just going to put my fingernail against it and push with my other nail on the other end. Let's see if I can straighten it out, but I'm not worried. There we go not worried about it being super straight because like I said there's just going to be beads on the end of this and this one probably isn't as tight as it could be I'm going to put some more glue down here just a little bit in the middle all the way down to there 
make sure when I get near it I've got it lined up. There we go. And I don't know how well I cut this paper, but this is, I think is what one inch. I think if I had my measuring thing here, I'd tell you. But I think it's about an, an inch, maybe an inch and a half. Now I got to the end here. I'm still going tight. I'm gonna back off a little. I'm gonna do that whole edge. Holding it tight, keeping it together. Now I'm going to take my fingernail and push it down as hard as I can, and I'm going to hold it there. Usually count to 30 or something, but hold it tight, make sure it's caught, and then you can pull it off the skewer. Now to finish these, I use this Glossy Accents. Um, <clears throat> but you can use clear fingernail polish. It works perfectly. It does a great job. I work, I used that for years when I was making beads. Now let me show you how to do this one. Like I said, I cut it a little bit in on the end. But I've got to pay attention that it's straight. Now this one will make a different shape. This, if you go online, there's all kinds of people teaching you how to make paper beads. how to do it with different kinds of papers. Now I'm pulling it tight and I'm making sure that the point is going towards the middle the best I can. I'm sure this paper wasn't cut precision. And there's even templates online of shapes for making your beads. You can see what I'm trying to do is keep this, now you're going to see edge because it's a cone shape. But I'm trying to keep this as close to the middle as I can. Now that looks pretty good up to there, so I'm going to put a little bit of glue. Ah, a little bit of glue right here. Whoop, right here. And work my way down to that glue. Keeping it nice and tight, as close to the middle as I can. And can you see that? I'm trying to keep that close to the middle. Like I said, I'm not. I'm sure this wasn't cut with precision because I was just cutting them. I wasn't planning on showing anyone what I was doing. I was just doing it. So I can see that one side is a little bit further over than the other. So I'm moving this side over a little bit. And I'm just going to go for the rest of the way, keeping it as close to the middle as I can. And this is a wonderful thing to do with all your old gel points. I mean, you can make a set of beads out of just one, one sheet. And if you really like the colors, but you hate the print, let me just see what this does to the... Now I just put the ending glue on and I'm pulling it tight, pulling it tight, running my fingers around it, pushing it down. And you can see it's not perfectly centered, but let me see if I can get a good light on this. There we go. Can you see how that, I mean, the, the paper was like, I think it was one of these, wasn't it? The paper was, you know, all different colors all over it. But when you get the bead, see if I can get it to focus. And you can see mine's not perfectly centered, but see how lovely those beads end up looking. And I just put them, see if I can get it to focus, focus. There we go. See how nice that looks? Purple ones aren't so nice, but I got some glitter to them. And then you can also take your uh, Posca pens and your uh, 
sorry. There you go. Posca pens and decorate. If you get this like this white edge over here, if you don't like that, you can go around that with a Posca pen. On these where the ends are white, where you can see the white, if you're not going to put a bead on it like I am, you can take your Posca pen and go around it. Let me see if I've got a pen here. Probably not going to use that one anyways. Yeah, here we go. I'll show you what I mean. Like around this very edge here. And just blacken it to get rid of where that white shows. And you get what I... Be a little more careful, but the way I've got the camera set up, the camera is between me and what I'm doing. So that's why it's... If I seem like I'm awkward when I'm using the in, this inside camera, that is very awkward. But see what I mean? You can touch that up. You could even go inside and touch up in there if you're worried that that's going to show any. But uh, like I said, I'm going to be putting... Um, I'm going to be putting... I think little round beads on the end of these, or maybe even the bead caps that you get to put on the on your beads. Yeah, that's probably what I'll be doing. Those round, a, a bead and then a bead cap over it. So that's not going to show on mine, but um, like I said, you can use the now to um, glaze them. I have one of these skewers that I um, took a, a candle and kind of waxed it. So that it was um, a little slick and when I glaze it, if glaze drips over a little bit, it doesn't stick to the thing and you can still pull your bead off. But, you know, just be careful. Just gently brush on your glaze. But you can keep it on these, these sticks. Let me get, zoom out again. And put it between, like, Two glasses or two jars to dry so that it's hanging out in the air and it pulls off these pretty easy you also can use um well you can do a lot of different things with it but by using this skewer it's going to be big enough for yarn or uh, most of the stuff that I string with I'm going to be using this wax thread so I probably could go a little smaller with it but I'm not going to but anyways, that's how you make the beads. And like I said, these papers, you'd be surprised how pretty they are with, with paper that, like this one will be really pretty because this part will be the outer part of it. And this one too will be a nice bright yellow. I probably will cut that white section right there off so that I can end it with the yellow. But it doesn't matter if the white's down here because you're not going to see where the start of the bead is. Okay, so they're finished now. I put a glaze on them. You can see the glaze. Um, I used, on these I just used some, I had some nail polish right out because I'd been doing it on my nails. The hard coat clear is all I used. I just wanted a slight glaze on them. I don't want them to be real. If I used the gloss accent, glossy accents or whatever, it would have been a lot more um, glass-like, but that's not what I was after. So we're going to see about just doing a loop at the top. First I got to find the hole. There it is, right there. Now I'm putting this bead on the bottom because this will keep it from going over the... the end. See how the end, it has a little button there? If I put a big hole bead, it's just going to slide right off it. With this, this bead with a small hole is what's going to keep the whole thing together. We'll put a bead. Then we'll put our paper bead. And I'm just going to make a loop at the top. And this really flashy bead. And what I do is I, ta I take ribbons or to find the hole here. I take ribbons or um, whatever and make uh, sometimes I'll use chain, sometimes I'll use ribbon. I'm just going to do a small bend and we're just going to make a loop, loop it back on itself. 
Just something to hang it from. So I go over with a round nose plier. See, I made like a shepherd's hook. And just coming back on itself. Straight up. See the angle? And I'm just going to cut it right here. So I don't know if I have. No, I don't have my cutters out, but when I get my cutters out, I'm going to cut it right there. And so I'll just have a loop to hang it from. And uh, I'll do like three or four of these, and then some. I'll do some with just plain beads and uh, some with paper beads and plain beads to hang off. And I'll do about five or six of these on ribbons, and then I'll hang that from the edge of my book. When I when I do the put together the uh, book I'm working on, that'll be the last thing I'll show you. I'll have these already made, and I'll show you how I hang them from the book. But anyways, that's your paper beads. And as you can see, if you've got some interesting paper, and it only needs to be about that much of an interesting paper because uh, everything else doesn't show. And I'll show you these paper beads here. These are old paper beads. And I did not make these, but I have made this kind before. I actually tried to look for some of my old paper beads, and I don't have any. I just realized about a few minutes ago that out in the studio, there's some that are on a book. But I'll show you those the next time when I do the book. But see, these, these are paper beads made with just painted papers, or you can actually use just glossy magazine papers. You'd be surprised what pretty ones you can get. From just glossy magazine papers but see they're very pretty and they're very light this is actually kind of a cute necklace um, and you can make them whatever color paper you've got you don't have to do gel print paper like I said you can use magazines or National Geographic it does some pretty stuff you can get some nice yellows from that front cover um, so thank you very much for viewing my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the paper beads. And like these are all gel printed beads here. So you can really do some pretty stuff with your, with your prints. Thank you very much. And you have a lovely, lovely day.